Hello, my name is Valeria, I am from the Kennel Care team and this is your monthly video update where we share with you everything we've been working on to keep your Linux kennels and shared libraries updated and secured. Before jumping to the news, let me remind you about the last chance to participate in the survey on the state of enterprise vulnerability detection and patch management operations in your organization. Enter the survey and win one of five $300 Amazon gift cards or one of five certified Kubernetes administration certifications from the Cloud Native Computing Foundation. Click the link in the description and share your thoughts. Vulnerabilities that affected Linux kernels were in bloom this month. However, not every vulnerability has a big name and gets the media spotlight. Dozens fly under the radar. Here is a list of the CVs patched by Kernel Care this month, the big ones and the ones you were not aware of. To make sure you understand the cause and potential risks of new vulnerabilities, the Kernel Care team regularly produces detailed overviews featuring technical introduction to a CVE as well as tips to identify and mitigate it. Go to the Kernel Care blog and explore the security tag with notes on both recent and well-known vulnerabilities. In February, we announced the availability of free Raspberry Pi patching for your home and non-commercial projects. Free Raspberry Pi patching by Kernel Care updates Linux kernel running on Raspberry Pi-based systems without disruption or downtime at no cost in case of personal or non-commercial use. Follow the link in the description and get your free license or claim your free proof of concept for a commercial IoT project requiring rebootless updates. If you're looking for a useful read, go check Forbes Tech Council publication by Igor Seletsky, CEO of Kernel Care, where he explains the role of containers for Linux kernels and shares tips for deploying, scaling and managing containers in an enterprise. Tweet us your thoughts on this piece and proposed security strategy as well as your suggestions for the next topic. That was it for the February update. Thank you very much for watching and take care of your Linux kernels. Goodbye.